I mean, I can't really hide my face. It's kind of just out there. So, my goal just uh, own it, love it, live it. And I look like different species. And Kai, I'm just a regular guy. I haven't been on a blind date before, so I'm, this is definitely way out of my comfort zone. I really have no expectations because, I mean, it's a blind date, so you come in with no expectations. Hi. What do you like getting with facial difference? It's like getting with a regular face. It's just how you perceive it. You know, if you're gonna let your facial differences get in the way of things, I mean, it's gonna affect you for sure. I can't really hide my face, it's kind of just out there. So I just kind of learned to deal with that. You know, I would get shy when I was younger, but as I got older, it's like, you know, it is what it is, it's not going nowhere. So just own it, it's who you are and who you forever will be. My name's Nathan Gahina, I'm 20 years old. I haven't been on a blind date before, so I'm, this is definitely way out of my comfort zone. And I was given a condition that uh, there's no name for, so we just call it the Nathan Syndrome. Facial features aren't everything. Granted, it's the first thing you notice when you look at someone, but when you really get to have a genuine conversation with someone, uh, I say personality outshine that all the time. All right, let's go on this blind date, let's see how it goes. How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, relaxed, excited. What are you looking for, girl? Uh, personality for sure. You have to be funny. I love a funny person because I love to laugh all the time. My name is Tiana. Um, I'm from Davenport, Florida. 20 years old. I don't know much about my day. All I know is that he has a facial difference. That's it. Hi. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Good. So, uh, are you from here? Yes, I'm from Davenport. Oh, down you know where that's at? Yeah, yeah, like the ocean, right? Mm. No, no. It's like Disney area. I knew that. Yeah. Welcome to Bordeaux Pizza. I'm gonna get you guys started off with some drinks, or? Can I get a water? A water, absolutely. Would you like a lemon, or? Please. Okay. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. I've you know, seen you on TikTok. You know what's crazy? I, in my mind, I was like, you know what? I bet you've seen me on TikTok. <laughs> so yeah, I do TikTok. So I've been kind of doing social media for like the past two years. It's kind of like a real big passion of mine. Mm -hmm. So currently, I do social media. Being a content creator has helped me become more confident. Because when going out in public, now like not everyone's looking at me just because of my face. Now they might be looking at me like, oh, I think I recognize you from somewhere. And you know, when people give me compliments, you know, like, oh, I like your work or you're really funny. You know, it kind of like boosts my ego a little bit. I mean, not gonna lie. You do YouTube too? Not yet. Do YouTube, you one game. I like to push boundaries, you know. Mm -hmm. I like to do stuff that like no one's ever seen. So mm -hmm. That's how I started. I would ask my friends like, oh, should I do TikTok? And they're like, yeah, because I was like, I feel like I can bring something no one's ever seen. Yeah. And um, I feel like I'm doing that. I just remember seeing you like a couple of times. I'm like, okay. I have, a, I have a couple of big posts. What okay, you, what's the biggest one? Biggest one. I don't know if you remember a trend. So it was a trend where people were folding. Yes. So yeah. So yeah. I, it was a fold. So um, that one did like like thirty million. Yeah. Is that like, that was like my first like really big big like post. Whoa. Yeah. I did. Thirty million. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Well, hold on. I gotta go back. First impression. It was beautiful, of course. Yeah, I mean, first thing, yeah, obviously it's sort of beautiful. How do you think she has taken your condition? I think she doesn't even care about it, honestly. I, I got she mind. I mean, once you get to know me, it's, it's not a big deal. I'll be back. Any experiences past dating? So past experiences with like girls. Okay, so I've never had a girlfriend. I've kind of always been skeptical about relationships. Kind of been shying away from relationships. I don't know, like, I, it's, I'm not fully shutting it out, like, if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, okay, it doesn't. Yeah, I understand that. Like, I like having a person where I can go on dates with, hang out with, but I also like hanging out with my friends and my family. Yeah, yeah. On occasion, like, we don't have to be together all the time. And I think a lot of people get in relationships now because they're tired of being alone. And that's the thing, like... <laughs> TikTok makes it worse, though. Hey dude, I ain't gonna lie, some kind of kick off be getting me in my feelings. They got nice. I'm like, dang. That would be nice. So how about you? How's that like, you're digging? I've had a couple of relationships before. Honestly, dinner didn't scare me. Dinner? But whatever it's like full on conversation. Yeah, I know. I... Yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. Yeah. You made it very easy though. I appreciate it. So it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you so too. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a good time. So how did the date go? I think it went well. I was kind of nervous at the beginning. I was like, are we gonna be able to talk? But we did. 
I liked how that he was funny. I liked that he was able to keep conversation going. It wasn't any awkward points. I think it went good. Uh, I think she enjoyed it. It was dope meeting her. She was like a really cool person, very genuine. Would I consider kicking Kiana on another day? Um, I mean, we just have to see. I mean, if she's up for it, I'm up for it. If not, it is what it is. You move on. Uh, but yeah, dope person regardless. Did you have a good time? I did. You had a good time? I, I had a good time. She had a good time. <laughs> Do you want to see each other again? We Can have a lot of day? things that we yeah, need. Yeah, we got a lot. Could we continue? <laughs> I did find him attractive. I thought he was really cool. So I don't think it, his facial difference had to do with anything about his personality. I think it was normal person. I think getting experience taught me anything. It taught me that actually blind dates are pretty cool. I mean, before this, I, I don't think I've ever would have gone on a blind date, not gonna lie. Well, it was so good meeting you. I really had a good time. It was nice meeting you too. It was last time.